Hello, welcome to Flip. So today we are on the topic of fuels and crude oil. And really this is uh the part where we just have to name stuff. Okay, so in your O-level syllabus, some chapters are actually, uh I would say it's very easy because they literally tell you what you have to know without actually even needing to look in the textbook or, or TYS or something. Okay, why? This is because of how the learning objective is phrased. Okay, so please take note. This is a, actually a learning tip, okay? Uh, instead of memorizing the whole textbook, you just have to look out for the learning objective. In this case, it says name the following fractions and state their users. So in this case, it's really, uh, this kind of questions really won't take more than five words to answer. Okay, so please don't spend your time, uh, reading the whole textbook on this part. Okay, so really learn smart, but don't learn hard. Okay, anyway, so let's move on. So we will see that we have to know one, two, three, four, five, six, six components of uh, petroleum. Okay, we will go into them right now. Okay, so this is uh, the fractionating column that we talked about that uh, in the previous video. So remember that we heat up our mixture here. Okay, our mixture of hydrocarbons. Okay, they have different colors, right? Remember, there's a uh, green, there's yellow, there's uh red there's uh cyan etc okay and they'll take turn to uh vaporize out and then condense okay so let's uh, draw a few examples okay vaporize out condense mm, vaporize out and condense okay so this is how it works actually so at different temperatures remember okay so now this is the part to uh Memorize. Okay, this, this one really doesn't require much, uh, understanding in the sense that it's really just for memory work. Okay. First one we'll talk about is petrol. Okay. So it's really used in car. Okay. So later I'll give an acronym to remember. Okay. So P for petrol. Second, it's actually NAFTA. NAFTA is something that we'll talk about in the second, the next part, which is part D for competitive, competing users. Okay. We'll talk about it later. So next one is NAFTA. NAFTA is, NAFTA is used in chemical production. What, what, what do we mean? Okay. So NAFTA is a bit special. It's actually the, uh, precursor. It's like the ingredient to make things like plastic. Okay. Uh, what else? Rubber. Okay. Synthetic rubber in this case. Uh, detergent, etc., etc. Okay. And even medication. Okay, like the Panadol you are, that you sometimes take. Okay, so all these things may seem very, like, may seem worlds apart. But actually, they all require some sort of uh, chemical called NAFTA, okay, in order to make, synthesize them. Okay, so next one is NAFTA. Next one is actually kerosene. Okay, uh, which is used in jet fuel, okay, uh, which is burned to power the whole plane. Okay, next we'll talk about it's... Uh, diesel oil, which is, uh, to power diesel engines, okay, such as bus and all the big, all the big moving vehicles, actually. So, for example, like the buses, uh, big lorries and all, all that you see on the road. Okay. Next would be lubricating oil, okay. Lubricating oil is really, uh, to lubricate the machines, can okay, make them smoother. Okay. So, for example, if I really have to draw out, okay, so this is the gear. Okay. As usual, my handwriting is, is pretty nice. Okay, so oh, this is actually quite nice. Okay, anyway, so this is the gear. They will spin, right? They will rotate uh to do their work. If this is uh for example rusted, okay, so if this is rusty, the gears won't be able to spin so well. And so what happened is that you can actually put some, put a bit of uh, lubricating oil so it makes it uh, more oily I guess okay, and to remove the rust layer and so that now this one can turn um, normally okay so this is to lubricate the machine lubricating oil and also is used as a wax okay like for example your kiwi polish okay this is also uh, lubricating oil okay so we have L here next one we'll talk about is bitumen okay bitumen is a B right okay so bitumen is really just to surface roads. So for example, uh, this is your road, right? Okay. Then you will always see this black, black stuff. Okay. Of course, of course, if I use black stuff, you won't see now. Okay. 
But imagine that all the black stuff, that's actually bitumen. Okay, it's to surface the roads. Okay, so if you are really lame like me, you can come up with an acronym. But I would suggest acronym because it's really one of the easiest way to remember uh, things, especially in chapters like this. So, the first one being P, so you can actually call it please, never, kill, deers, lions, and bats. Okay, it's, it's really, it's very lame, but I mean, if you can memorize this for these six alphabets, this chapter should be no problem for you, for you, because if you know the names of them, okay, the users will come naturally. Okay, let's move on to the second portion. Okay, so what we have here, okay, uh, I don't have a picture, but let me just draw roughly a rough one. So this is the column that we have seen, right? Okay, uh, it's, the thing will pump in. Okay, and at different layers, at different heights, I mean, okay, the gases will go out. Okay. Okay, so for example, this is just a recap, very brief one. This gas, the mixture, okay, will be heated, vaporize, move up the column, condense, okay, it will come out here. Next one, at a higher, higher boiling point, okay, it will heat up, condense, eh, a vaporize, then condense here, etc. Okay, then it happens for the other two as well. So you must be asking, uh, how, how do we actually determine the heights, right? So we mentioned that it's based on boiling point. So actually, if you... Okay, let me just complete this for completion's sake, right? Okay, there's a white one. There's a... Let's see. A brown one. Okay, so just imagine that there are four. Four chemicals. Uh, four... Four four portions. Four fractions. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so as we move down this uh column okay oops as we move down this column okay this is a uh, quite a straight arrow okay as we move down this column what increases the boiling point actually increases makes sense right because we talk about this the top one okay remember our fish example fish will be at the top whereas for for example a pig will be at the bottom correct because it's heavier Right, so down the group, sorry, down the uh, column, the boiling point actually increases, okay? Whereas this will be very low. Down the group also, viscosity will increase, okay? It's how, how easily it flows, okay? Next will be flammability. That means how easily it catches fire, how easily it is to burn. Okay, flammable would actually decrease. So what do I mean? A fish is easier to easier to burn than a pig. Okay, so that's that's simply that. Okay, obviously, obviously it doesn't make sense, it's just an example. Okay. Uh the last one being smokiness. Okay, smokiness. Smoky flame. Okay, so down the whole column, okay, uh, the smoky flame actually increases. So what do I mean? If you burn a fish, uh, you, you barbecue a fish, correct, on a grill, okay, it has maybe this amount of smoke. But if you barbecue a pig, okay, a pork, correct, you have a lot of smoke. Okay, so that's the, that's what we mean by smoky flames, okay. So put it into chemical context. Okay, remember what's on our top, right? Uh, our acronym, the very lame one. It's please, never, kill, deers, lions, and bats. Okay, so petrol is on top. Bitumen is below. Okay, so with this example, but petrol will have higher boiling point, will have, sorry, will have a lower boiling point, low viscosity, lo high flammability, less smoky flame. Okay, whereas if you go down the group, go down the column, bitumen has 
higher boiling point, higher viscosity, lesser flammability, increased smoky flame. Okay, hopefully it's clear.